Well, after last season, Danny Cowley said that he never wants to be in a relegation battle ever again. And probably know just how difficult that it can be to get out of the National League when you're there. It was an unforgettable race to promotion for Bromley, and now for the first time in their 132-year history, they are here in the English Football League, preparing to face an old rival in Danny Cowley. Well, there is goalkeeper Grant Smith, once upon a time played for Lincoln under Danny Cowley, Lyle Taylor starting for his new club. And a header away by Kamal Grant. And that's a nice touch from Reid. Instantly looking to start an attack. And there are appeals and there is a whistle for the foul, which comes in on Harry Anderson. Topoloj had just lost his man then, but he changes to the lineup. Put on the shirt was enough. Anderson going down. Whistle from the referee. And there will be a booking as well. It will be Bishop who will curl the ball in and a stooping header. Very nearly led to a spectacular own goal. Wonderful recovery by goalkeeper Grant Smith. Big stretch up to deny what would have been an awful goal. Teddy Bishop. Twisting into space, lovely driving run. Exactly what you want your number eight to do. Now Tavida. Chipping in towards Lyle Taylor, his first chance of the game in the end is a relatively tame one by his standards. Floating ball in from Tavida and Taylor unable to generate the necessary power. It wasn't the best of pass away so and Cheek is there and he rattles the post when he looked destined to score. Well, last season's top scorer with a brilliant chance. Well, the goalkeeper here can breathe a sigh of relief. Best chance of the game so far. And perhaps it should be 1 0. Lyle Taylor is chasing. Lyle Taylor is bundled to the ground by Byron Webster. And he will be the latest player to receive some strong words here from the referee. Payne will swing one in. It had pace and whip. And Tafide will look to recover and he's done very well to find Igbo now Reed who lines one up from range Ron Smith not taking any chances with that one pushing away around the post not the first time that he's been called into action in this first half plenty of chances here still no goals Low with the mistake, he's stood on the ball and maybe there will be a penalty. The referee takes a look and probably do have a spot kick. What a mess at the back for me, Andalo. As he tried to recover the ball, he clipped the leg of Denanga. Well, Michael Cheek missed one big chance in this first half when he hit the post. Cheek finds the corner this time. Well, he continues to demonstrate that he can and will score goals in the Football League. And Bromley have got themselves off to a brilliant start here. Colchester nil, Bromley won. 
Well, Matt Macy is six foot seven, filled plenty of that goal, but he couldn't get down quickly enough as Cheek smashed in. Bishop looking for the angle, back out to Taylor. Low delivery, comfortably dealt with by Odoteo. Big opportunity here to search for an equalising goal. First was made in towards the front post, it's a fabulous recovery and a big arm from Smith to push away. Well, that was certainly going in. Payne has been in sparkling form since arriving in the summer and he very nearly scored what would have easily been the goal of the day. Spins away. A rather risky inside the penalty area. And Ekbo's seen enough of that one and he clears away and it bounces kindly. And there is a chance to break for Tavide. Tavide skips the challenge of Odoteo. He goes for goal! Well, it would have been a fine strike from Samson Tavide. Hustling hard to win it. Making a brilliant burst. They didn't want to get near him here. Too much of a risk. And so he was afforded the chance to get the shot away, only to put it wide. Both header will come straight back. It's Denanga who somehow manages to keep hold of the ball despite the fall. And Topolos has done well here. And look at the numbers bursting clear, and Cheek is one of those. And that's a good interception by Hunt, who gets there just in time. Arthurs with the delivery into the front post. And what an opportunity it was to grab a second of the afternoon. Ashley Charles in there, finding plenty of room, completely unmarked. And the header is tipped over the bar. Results in corner, leading to danger. And Cheek is the latest to send an effort goalwards, only to see it pushed away by a big save from Matt Macy. This was the delivery at the other end that led to a brilliant chance for Charles. And Cheek denied. Taylor. Lovely touch around the corner where Payne was waiting. Payne now allowed to travel, picks one in and there's the equaliser and it's the substitute who's there, Edwards to score the goal. Only moments ago threatened to do that, this time he's in, it's Colchester 1, probably 1. Well it was the pass of Taylor that created the room for Payne, who's been in sparkling form since arriving at Colchester, it's another assist for him, sent it into the space. To attack it was Edwards. Not taken long for him to make an impact. And Marty Gordon has got the wrong side of his man and won a free kick here. Topolage gets the yellow and it's his second of the game. And in the final stages here, Bromley will play with just a 10 on the field. Luckily for them, it won't hurt them too much. And Topolos will feel that that was a move that he had to make as Kaimani Gordon was bursting clear. A gripping game in League 2 that could have swung one way or the other. And in the end, it finishes all square. He came off of the bench, Awara Edwards, and led the charge for Colchester, scored the equalising goal. 
And there was every chance that there could have been more. But the Bromley defence and goalkeeper Grant Smith stood tall, stood firm. And it just wasn't to be. Michael Cheek with another, his third of the season in League Two. Well, square, it finishes here. Colchester 1, Bromley 1.